Well, here we are back at the church. And you can see where the damaged tin is still getting blown off there. Got to remove that in the next couple days and start rebuilding that. And uh, get that tar paper replaced and that tin replaced. Well, I don't know what I just did there. Okay, so anyway, this is back to the church repair job. I probably should move my bike, well, my son's bike, but let's come over here and have a look real quick. See what we got going on. Hopefully I didn't do nothing weird to the camera. I don't know, there's so many buttons on this thing it's easy to push the wrong one yeah. looks good looks like the critters didn't come down here and want to visit the church so that's good yeah this all looks good still good we got our tar and our nails finally for the tar paper And in here we also got our 2x6s that we ordered and been waiting for. And those are all for replacing the rafters up top. There I got my tools there. If you can see that. We got up the ladder we go. Take a look up here. Well, that's torn out. And sweeping up, up here. This is the underside of the roof and the rafters. It looks really good. There's a couple pieces of plywood in here that need to be taken out after we remove some of the roof that's bad. Replace the plywood and the roofing. I've uh, just been kind of cleaning this up a little bit. You can see there's still a lot of deconstruction debris. And up here we got the visqueen I put over it to protect it from the elements. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> These are the rafters we're changing out. I'm going to start doing that today. If all is well. So. We're going to go ahead and get to busy on that. And I've got some plywood I need to cut. And uh, start getting this put back together. That's kind of where we're at on this project here. You can see over here where we tore out the tore out the ceiling. Well, that's a pretty moth, isn't it? What the heck? That's cool. Huh. Yeah. So all that's tore out. Down to the good wood. There's still a little bit of cleanup to do there. And um, thinking about replacing this plywood, I don't know. It still looks pretty good on the inside. So after we get done putting this rafters back up and the, the roof back on that, and we'll tar paper that, make sure it's tight with some tar. Then we're going to take off all this ceiling down under here and replace all that up under underneath the entryway here so it all looks nice and new and then we can paint it 
get all this finished up out here. Now that we got our two by sixes and our nails from the church fund, all this needs to be cleaned up. All that will be torn out, replaced. And we're just trying to do the best job we can here and uh, get her back to looking good. And we've been pricing doors. So these types of doors here are running about, starting at about $2,500 for new. And that whole thing needs to be, that whole frame needs to be replaced. Everything needs to be replaced. So we're looking at uh, raising enough money through our GoFundMe to pay for that for the church. And um, make donations, some donations to the church. And what else do we need to do? I want to replace these stairs. They need it. I had a service here the other day and the stairs dropped an inch on this side here. And we looked underneath and the face plate you can see where it's cracked right there. So we went, took a look at that and we need to get that replaced, rebuilt. Um, like I say, I'd just kind of like to redo the whole stairs, but we don't really have the the lumber or the means to do that. So another thing we're doing here is uh, we're going to replace all this linoleum as soon as we can. And you can see there's bubbles in the floor here. So that all needs to come out. We're going to redo the floor. Some pretty big bubbles here. I mean, that's getting pretty soft. Um, you can see here where some water, we had a really bad rainstorm the other day. And there's some water that didn't get cleaned up. We cleaned up a lot of it. Uh, so we are having some leak issues. And we're trying to address that as quickly as we can. Get this roof fixed. You can see water there that we missed cleaning up. So we're getting her done. It's just taking a minute. It's just me and my son, and he hurt himself the other day doing something. So he's got a torn groin muscle, so he's out for a minute. Uh, yeah, so I think I will replace those front plywood boards. And a little bit of dry rot right there in the corner. The rest of it looks really good, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll get back to it. So this is where we're at, everybody. This is the wood we took off the ceiling, off the roof. I mean, pardon me. And some face plates we took off. Some more face plates. So all those face plates were pretty well rotted out. And. Uh, Yeah, this is where we're at. So, let me climb up here. I don't remember if I did the other day or not, but we'll... This ladder shifted on me the other day, and holy, I about wet my pants. Uh, almost fell. So here we're looking at what we've been doing up here. You can see that piece there needs to be replaced. That end of that rafter... And that joist as well. There's a couple other ones that need to be replaced. But all in all, it doesn't look too bad. And then we'll get all this bad paint scraped up. Get this all cleaned up. And uh, p apply some new paint after we get all this rebuilt. So that's where we're at right now. Most of the deconstruction done on that. I'm going to have to get my son, as soon as he feels better, to crawl back into that attic and take a look what we got there. So we might have to replace some rafters and uh, joists in there as well. But yeah, you can see this here. This 
this is pretty well rotted out so it's definitely seen some some seasons and we've got all the plywood and the two by fours and now the two by sixes to replace all that yeah look at all that just toast so enough of me talking Now we had a bear try to get into the neighbor's house or sounded like they tried to get into their garbage and then they were just like shredding at their house or something. It was right next door. My wife woke me up at uh, two in the morning and I thought it was trying to scratch and get into our house. But it was actually the neighbors. Uh, kind of scared the wife a little bit. Neighbors come out of their house and lit off some fireworks. And that bear took off for the hills. But the fish, humpies, just showed up in the bay the other day. And uh, so now there will be fish in the cricks. For those critters to eat so they'll quit hanging around the village hopefully uh, get not get into people's trash as much looks like one of them laid right here on this flower and you know maybe chewed on it i don't know but it's definitely a lay down spot right there and my son was like oh this flower is so cool i'm gonna leave it so he's gonna be like what <laughs> all right man if you like the video Hit the like button and please subscribe. Right on. Have a good day. Bye.